Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at Apex 2016 and I'm joined by Marco from Kulik and & Sofa and Hi. Michael Ford from Mentor Graphics. Guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, recently listened to a webinar about the announcement of OML, so I wanted to explore that initially and just what was happening in the market. I know it takes a long time for, uh, if we wait for associations, for example, for standards, we, we perhaps sometimes wait forever. So there's clearly a need. What was it in the market that you recognized and how did you respond to it, Michael? It was really, uh, we had a lot of uh, calls from people talking about smart factories and industry 4.0. And these kinds of initiatives span much more than just electronics. But we saw that electronics was falling behind. People were finding it very tough to actually achieve the values that they would be expecting. And that was due to a lack of standardization and availability of information from the machines and the shop floor in general. Okay, and in response to that, you developed your own piece of software? Um, we developed a specification because, you know, as machines evolve, uh, we get a higher degree of complexity and there's a lot more information available. And, you know, that information needs to be available outside of the machine, but it's very complex. So we needed to look for a new format to represent that information anyway. So we had a choice. Do we do it internally, like everybody else does, and keep it to ourselves? Or shall we actually resolve this problem in the market and contribute to the electronics industry? Okay, and you came up with OML, which stands for Open Machine Language. Marco, from your point of view, what were you hearing in the market in terms of demand, and what led you to engage and get involved in the OML community? Yeah, yeah we see in the market there is a, 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 a need to connect the vast uh, information data which is coming from the machines, from the equipments, towards the, uh, the MES, MES systems. We had that already in our assembly on times. Mm -hmm. Now, since we are part of the bigger Kulik and Sofa family, we also see that from a semi semicon con world. But each customer has his own demands, and there is there is a lack of 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 common language in in addressing that that demand. Given uh, the, the modern age, uh, 2016, and the, the big data, the Internet of Things, there are there are um, mechanisms, means to handle that mm. that that data amount, but there is no no standardization. So what, what we always try to do is to be open towards towards customers, towards mm -hmm. cust customized uh, uh, solutions. But but that is that is having a standardization will help yeah. solving that that problem yep. and actually uh, um, making the, the 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 usage of the equipment better, improving the yield, improving the traceability levels. It's it's all possible. Yeah. But we have to to sit together and work together and come come out with a common language. Okay, and you've developed this common language. You mentioned that being part of um, Kulik and Software gave you the opportunity to connect to all the other industries. Were there other areas that were perhaps more advanced in this in this area than perhaps SMT um, within the Kulik and Sofa group? Yeah, yeah. When you see at the yield levels that are reached in the Semicon fabs, mm. they are they are much higher than in the SMT. So there is there is a, a possibility to improve the yield yeah. within SMT. Uh, using solutions like 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 our iFlex, our, like our FlexLine or hybrid mm -hmm. solutions, but you do need to have the tools to 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 open up and to see yeah. that data. Yeah. And then you then you can improve. Yeah, and once you have that data, you've got to process it. So you have a number of partners involved in the OML community. Getting more and more people on board is going to be important to that. What's the bit the response been since you made the initial announcement? Um, it's been incredible, actually, far more than we expected. Uh, within the industry, we've had, um, you know, machine vendors. I mean, uh, Assembly on were the first to come along with us, uh, who really understand the need for creating value for their customers. Um, also, people from just customers who want to have this kind of information applied to processes, which often are very simple. You know, like end assembly, back end assembly, which a lot of solution providers don't like to go near because they involve a lot of customization. But now using OML, they can develop it themselves. You know, it's a free and open standard, so they simply download the specification, develop the software they want. So the integration of the advanced machine area and the back-end manual area is now complete. And so we can say there is the complete solution. And in terms of using it with customers, Marco, do you have OML actually operating in customers, in beta sites, and, and how's that going? And what's the response of your customers been to having this language available? Yeah, it's, it's all about the tools that are available on it. The, the language itself is for the customers not, not that important, but mm. the ability to have the tools available to, to, to make and, to, and to, to grasp all the data on the complete mm. production floor, from the complete line, that is what is what's essential. 
So the responses are, are good. We, we see the need with, with, with all the larger uh, manufacturing sites. They want to open up. They don't want to have the aisles of, of, of manufacturing, but want to go to the next level mm. of, of uh, industrialization of manufacturing, which is in fact, of course, the industry 4.0. Yeah, As yeah. I'm glad you mentioned Industry 4.0 because whether we call it 4.0 or whether we call it IOM or IoT in manufacturing, whatever it is, that's on people's minds and people want to make some kind of step towards that but they're kind of afraid of this very large step of almost thinking have we got to build a greenfield site. You've got to deal with legacy equipment, Michael, and you made an announcement uh, last night at this event that maybe helps people a little bit in that way. Yes, it's true. Um, and you know that having the OML out there as an open uh, uh, specification for people to use, it doesn't actually solve the whole of the problem. Because any standard that could come into the industry has a real problem to support the legacy equipment. How many machines are out there? Hundreds of thousands. That machine vendors will not want to go and retrofit and introduce that new standard format. So we announced yesterday a simple hardware box that inside contains the ability to connect to any machine and process that maybe does not support the direct OML or OML based tools such as from assembly on. So that means that that box can be applied to the whole of the shop floor such that you have smart machines, you have uh, manually developed process interfaces and then you have the Vala IoT manufacturing connection. It means the Internet of Manufacturing is available to everyone. Today, we have both the very largest companies and the smallest companies and that's what we wanted to see. Yeah, that's really important and from your point of view, Marco, it must be important when you're installing stuff to know that the machine next to it that's maybe a legacy printer that's been you know, going forever and works perfectly well and they don't want to upgrade, you can actually offer a solution. Yeah, that's, that's true. So we have, we have our own solutions in the OML domain, but with, with this, this mentor box we can make it a whole line solution Ooh. and that's of course what counts. And our customer base, our, our, our customers are not interested in just having an, an, an point solution. Yeah. They want to have the total solution. Yeah. And what we see, there is a, a trend to, to keep that all in your own uh, 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 kitchen, mm. so to say, with the door closed. But you can also open up. Yeah. And we are always about open interfacing, yeah. making that available for the customer, because the customer, is that, that is the one yeah. that needs to improve his, his yield, um, ensure that he can have the 100% traceability, uh, which, which you see more and more com coming. Uh, ensure that there is there is mechanisms to to prevent counter counterfeiting, mm. big topic in uh, in the industry nowadays. Yeah, hacking, uh, hacking, and you and you do need to have the tools available on the complete line level. Yeah. So not only just for our, our equipment, but also for uh, the legacy printer that you mentioned. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Very important. So in short, it's kind of this holistic approach is really important, connected and collaborative. That's really important. But I think one of the most important things is open. It needs to be open for the whole industry. Gentlemen, thanks very much for stopping by to chat this morning and I hope you have a good day at the show. Thank you.